Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. In this one, I am going to be discussing the major pieces of information that we found out about the Modern Warfare 2 teaser trailer. And more specifically, in this video, I am going to be talking about when we are going to be getting the official reveal for Modern Warfare 2, the multiplayer reveal, when the beta is going to be happening, and also, I am going to be talking about cross-platform play, whether you can play on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and all kinds of things like that. So with that being said guys, if you go on to enjoy this video at any given point in time, make sure you leave a like comment down below as well subscribe so without further ado now that i got the intro out of the way let's dive right into it now to inform you guys who weren't already in the loop a little bit earlier today we received a modern warfare 2 teaser trailer now this wasn't a gameplay teaser trailer it was actually an in real life teaser trailer that actually took place at the port of long beach and interestingly enough in that particular trailer we got to see some artwork when it comes to modern warfare 2 we got the official cover art for the game itself however what's really important is in addition to the actual trailer we got a lot of information from infinity Ward when it comes to features as well as we now kind of have a timeline as to when we can expect to see the reveal trailer, the multiplayer trailer, as well as of course when the game will be releasing which is actually October 28th. Now this is really important because the last two Call of Duty games being Call of Duty Vanguard as well as Black Ops Cold War, both of which were released in November. However, Modern Warfare 2 will be releasing on October 28th, which is actually the last Friday of October in 2022. Now this is extremely interesting because the last game to release in October was actually Modern Warfare 2019, as Modern Warfare 2019 released on October 25th, which interestingly enough was the last Friday of October in 2019. And in addition to that, we also have a little bit of a teaser as to when we can expect to see the official reveal for Modern Warfare 2. Now this is going to be the gameplay reveal where we get to see gameplay for the very first time and we get all kinds of information that we want to know about the actual game itself. And that date is actually the 8th of June 2022. And that's because for a very brief amount of time in the actual trailer, you can see a date on the side of a shipping container. And that date is naturally June 8th and that would actually make a lot of sense because considering that we're already at the end of May and we already have a teaser trailer for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and now we got a quasi reveal trailer for the game it would make sense for them to keep up that hype and then release the reveal trailer sometime in early June and honestly June 8th fits that description pretty well. Now with that being said let's take the time and talk about some of the operators that are going to be coming in Modern Warfare 2. Now naturally these are just the operators that we know so far as when Modern Warfare 2 officially releases there's likely going to be close to a dozen different operators however the ones that we know so far are Gaz, Soap, Alejandro, as well as Price. Now moving on, one thing that is rather interesting, and that is there are going to be three different editions for Modern Warfare 2, and those editions are the Standard Edition, the Cross-Gen Bundle, as well as the Vault Edition. Now I'll be talking about the Vault Edition very shortly, however the Cross-Gen Edition is actually very interesting because there was some speculation that Call of Duty 2022, which was found out to be Modern Warfare 2, was not going to be releasing on PlayStation 4 as well as Xbox One, and it was going to be a game solely exclusive to the next generation, or some people would consider the current generation of consoles. However, that is not the case as we have the cross-generation bundle and of course in similar fashion to the cross-gen bundle that we saw in Black Ops Cold War as well as Vanguard, if you start off the year by playing the game on let's say PlayStation 4 and then later on you buy a PS5, if you buy the cross-gen bundle you'll automatically have the upgraded PlayStation 5 version of the game which is honestly really good. Now with that being said, let's actually talk about the Vault Edition because some of the pieces of content that you are going to be getting for buying this version of the game actually got revealed and it is rather interesting, especially the last piece of content. So, if you purchase the Vault Edition, you are going to be getting the Battle Pass plus 50 tier skips, the Red Team 141 Operator Pack that's going to be including the Ghost, Soap, Price, as well as Far Operators. In addition, you also are going to be getting the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault, 10 hours of double XP plus 10 hours of double weapon XP, the Ghost Legacy Pack which has 12 Operator Skins and 10 Weapon Blueprints, and here's the kicker, you get early access to the Open Beta. So yes, it's been officially confirmed that Modern Warfare 2 will be hosting an open beta and interestingly enough we got a little bit more information about that as well as when you actually deduce it we can kind of figure out when that beta is going to be happening. So interestingly enough we know that Modern Warfare 2 Call of Duty 2022 will still maintain PlayStation's exclusivity and actually the beta for Modern Warfare 2 will be going live first on PlayStation 4 as well as PlayStation 5. Now a lot of people might be confused because of course Xbox is going to be buying Activision however you have to keep in mind that 
but this is a multi-billion dollar deal. So that means it's going to take a long time for everything to be entirely settled and for everything to close. And I remember some people saying that the actual deal itself was going to be closing sometime in 2023. So naturally, until that happens, PlayStation still has exclusivity over the Call of Duty franchise. So that's become the Modern Warfare 2 beta will be going live first on PlayStation 4 and 5. So that's pretty much all the information that we received today about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. However, what's really interesting is now that we know when Modern Warfare 2 will be officially releasing as well as what we know about the speculated date when it comes to the official reveal as well as what we've known thus far, we can kind of figure out when the multiplayer reveal is going to be happening as well as when the beta will be happening. So here's the general consensus. It's very obvious that Modern Warfare 2 is following a very similar marketing timeline to Modern Warfare 2019. Here are a couple examples. Modern Warfare 2 will be releasing on the last Friday of October. By comparison, Call of Duty Vanguard released on the first Friday of November and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War released on the second Friday of November. Meanwhile, Modern Warfare 2019 also released on the last Friday of October. Further, for both Black Ops Cold War as well as Vanguard, we didn't get an official reveal until well into August of the respective years. However, so far with Modern Warfare 2, we already know what the game is going to be and it is very likely that we are going to be getting an official reveal in early June. And for a little bit of comparison, Modern Warfare 2019's official reveal happened on May 31st, 2019. So using Modern Warfare 2019's timeline as a rough estimate, we can now figure out when the multiplayer reveal is going to be happening, because Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer reveal happened on August the 1st, 2019, which was of course the first day of August 2019, as well as it was the first Thursday of August. So using that as a baseline, it is very possible that the multiplayer reveal for Modern Warfare 2 could be happening on Thursday, August 4th. And that would also make sense because it seems like the Modern Warfare 2019 marketing happened a little bit before the Modern Warfare 2022, maybe by just about a week or a couple days, for example, October 28th instead of October 25th, or the actual official reveal happening on June 8th instead of May 31st. So just a discrepancy of a couple days, it's not really that important, but it's just something you can keep in mind. So now let's take the time and talk about the beta for Modern Warfare 2. Interestingly enough, the beta for Modern Warfare 2019 kicked off on September the 12th, 2019, which interestingly enough was the second Thursday of September in 2019, and it officially concluded about a week and a half later on the 23rd of September. Now using that once again as a baseline, the second Thursday of September in 2022 is September 8th. However, I think it's a little bit more likely that they would go with the third Thursday, and that's actually going to be September 15th. So right now, my prediction on May the 24th, 2022, about what we are going to be seeing when it comes to the reveals for Modern Warfare 2, I would confidently say that the official reveal for Modern Warfare 2 will be happening on Wednesday, June 8th, 2022. Further, I would say that the multiplayer reveal for Modern Warfare 2 will be happening on Thursday, August 4th, 2022. And then in similar fashion to Modern Warfare 2019, likely in August, we are going to be getting some sort of gunfight tournament, pretty much a chance for us to play Modern Warfare 2 a little bit early. It's possible we might be seeing that, but don't quote me on that because that's pretty speculative. And then moving on, we are going to be seeing the beta for Modern Warfare 2 that is going to be kicking off on either Thursday, September 8th or Thursday, September 15th. However, personally, I'm leaning more towards September 15th. And then of course, finally, we are going to be getting the release of the game on October 28th, 2022. So that's my prediction. And of course, you guys watching this in the future can come back to this video, screenshot it, take a clip from this video and see if I was correct or see if I was entirely wrong. So yeah, with that being said, guys, that's going to effectively wrap up today's video talking about Modern Warfare 2 and everything that we know thus far. So with that all being said, if you guys went on to enjoy today's video at any given point in time, make sure you leave a like on it down below as well as subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you guys will not miss any of the latest and greatest Call of Duty news class ups and tell and so much more. So thank you once again for watching. I've been your host, Deeper Junkle, and I hope to see you in the next one.